Hey everybody. So I think today we're going to do an experiment. I don't know if we're going to keep it this way or not, but yet sometimes you don't know if you like something until you see it. So what we're going to do today, is we're going to trade air cleaners. Fat Boy, Street Glide, they're going to swap. So welcome to Bike Hub. Uh, what we're going to do, we're going to take this ventilator, pop it off, I'm going to trade it out for that heavy breather on the street glide and then we'll bring that one over here so because the new breakouts maybe even the old ones i'm not sure but i think it's just the new ones they've got that that snorkel style on there and i still really like how that looks and since the fat boy is really similar to the breakouts i think it's still going to look good plus i think i'm finally going to take that step to geezer glide and i think we're going to run the hard lowers full time on the glide i've already washed and ceramic the lowers i kind of wish i'd had them on there when i was out at sturgis but you know both this year and last year you think i would have learned but apparently i learned things the hard way and who knows this might be another learning the hard way situation and i'm really hoping i don't need to take the highway pegs off to put the lowers on just put the pegs the highway pegs back on but uh we'll find out but i don't know i don't even know what tools i need yet so i'm going to get the toolkit out check some things out and best i can tell per harley is they should both fit one should fit the other and vice versa so it should be fairly quick fairly easy although i'm starting to run out of daylight so i might start this today and wrap it up tomorrow and get back with you guys but i'll still bring you along for all of it so i guess we'll start by popping the street glide cleaner off figuring out what tools i need once i have them off uh you know then i'll kind of walk you through the tools that i used but i don't know I might pull the tools and then get back to you and and fill you in as we go. We'll see. Hold up. All right, so I guess we're just going to kind of follow along as I go. It seemed like uh, what I've been trying to do and kind of been kind of sucky about it. But we're going to start by pulling these guys out. There's three of them. There's one underneath, too. And that's going to take a 3 16 Allen. We'll pop that off, set it aside. There is a gasket in between this and the backer plate. Then we've got a T45, I believe. Yep, T45 on either side that will kind of replace the, the breather bolts that were there. So then we'll take that off and I believe we've got some more bolts underneath, but I'm not sure what they are yet. So we'll get uh, these popped off here. Hopefully it's the right direction. Of course it's not, you know, because why would it be? So. So we'll get that going. I'm gonna use two hands for this so I don't screw up any chrome. So we'll uh, be right back. All right, so we got that off. And I forgot there are three bolts in here that hold it to the, uh, the throttle body itself. And those, I believe, are 532nd. Yep, so 532nd. So I've already broken them loose. Uh, so I'm going to pull those out, then this should come away, which will expose the throttle body. And there's a bracket behind there that used to be there uh, originally that I did have to take off to put this on. But rather than going through my big old bin of takeoffs, I think I'm just going to go ahead and rob the one off of the soft tail and put it over here. It should be a direct fit. If it's not, I'll let you know and I'll go digging for the old one because God knows I don't throw anything away. So when I took the old air cleaner off, there was just a little bit of oil on it, which is, if you have an MA, you're not surprised. Um, so, wiped that off real good, wiped off the gasket, there's a little bit of oil in there. Not much, I mean, it's just real, real minor, because I do tend to underfill my oil by about the about three dots low. I don't know what that equates to, but I end up with very minimal, if any, blow-by. So, at least until I get around to doing the vented uh, transmission top cover. So... And I finished getting this off and get that on the bench, get everything a good wipe down, and then we'll jump over to the soft tail and take a look at uh, pulling that off. All right, so that was quick and easy. It actually looks pretty clean. 
It got a little bit of oil. So we'll give that a good wipe. But got that over here. So that's the backer. I'll flip that over. It's still a little bit warm for my ride home today. But real, real simple. Uh, really not a whole lot going on here. So, and this is that, that little gasket I was telling you guys about. It's a one-way gasket. only fits one way. So, mosey on over to the soft tail here. And I've already broken them loose just to see. Because we've got these two bolts, which is going to be different than yours. Because I replaced the 114 panel with this carbon fiber sticker cover piece of plastic. Because I think it looks better than the 114. So I needed a, an eighth inch Allen for that. And then behind that are two five thirty seconds bolts and and behind that are probably more bolts to remove it from the throttle body so i'm gonna start pulling bolts disassembling and trucking along so i'll be right back all right so went ahead and pulled that off there was again a little oil on the inside of the filter now that's not like the, the knn high flow filter that is going to i am going to get one of those uh, sooner than later but it's still a high flow, so I, I shouldn't need to worry about retuning the street glide because high flows, high flows, high flow. But I like the idea that I can wash it and oil it and reuse it. So uh, these, there's two of them. There's one over here that I already pulled off, but you just grab all of them and they pop right off. And underneath is your banjo bolt because the oil comes out of that hole supposed to go into this and then get sucked into the throttle body to go back to the motor and get reburned. I think it's more just for an EPA make them feel good kind of thing because I really don't think it works worth a damn. But that's a we got more three more the the 530 seconds and then this is a 716 and I did grab a deep socket just to make sure I can get over there just fine. So I'll pull the two banjo bolts out and then I'll pull these three. It'll come away from the throttle body and it should expose the support bracket that I can kind of see, but I'll show you guys once I get the backer plate off and we'll keep going along. All right, so we got that off. That was a, kind of stuck on there, but it's the first time it's been pulled off. So uh, it does have a little paper gasket back here that did tear a little bit when I removed it. So uh, the next time I get out to the dealership, I'll pick another one up and I'll you know, replace it as you should, but I don't have one. I'm going to do it anyway. So took a little razor knife, cleaned up this as best I could. Feels real good. Um, but this is that backer plate I was telling you about. And that is, we're going back to the 3 16 Allen to pull those two bolts. Don't know why we need it other than like to keep this cable still because nothing was attached to it but i'm sure it's there for a reason so I'll, I'll put it back on the street glide but we'll get that off and then uh, i think we're going to tackle putting the snorkel on the fat boy uh because sun's going down real quick and it's hurting my feelings but this is the bike i'm going to take to work tomorrow so i want to make sure it's 100 percent good to go and if i need to come back to the street glide tomorrow i can i rode that one today so uh soft tail's getting some love tomorrow so, uh, like I said, pull that, and then it's just a reverse of what we did over on the street glide, just over here. If I run into any issues, I'll let you know, but once it's done, I'll let you know. So, either way. All right. I actually got them both wrapped up because I didn't hit any speed bumps for once. So, we'll start with street glide. There we go. Just like every other... Street Glide Special with that oval shaped ventilator. But, you know, definitely, definitely gotta get that K&N because that white is just awful. So I will end up with the K&N probably here before long. I gotta buy a, a three hole change kit and, you know, do the Street Glide here soon anyway. It's within a, like 150 miles of being due since the trip to and from Sturgis, which ended up being about 2,200 miles in case I didn't say it in the previous video. Speaking of not saying earlier, those breather bolts, the banjo bolts that uh, we were taking off the, the fat boy here that the street glide didn't have, <laughs> chalk another one up to Harley. They use that white aviation Loctite on those freaking bolts too. So either it, 
I got lucky or I did something right. I don't know, but nothing stripped. So, yay for that. Uh, I can't stand that stuff because it's stripped more bolts than I want to admit. But, the big reveal. <laughs> there it is. That is mean. I like that. I dare say it. I don't know if I like it more actually on, on the street glide or the soft tail, but I think that really works even with, you know, the satin chrome here and there. And I got the polished chrome here, but I've got the mix and match down here. I got some mix and match up through here. So I think it works. I think it's cool. We're going to run with it for a little while. You know, I'll get the, the k and filter on the street glide. And who knows, this might be the way it's gonna stay because at the end of the day, if I'm gonna run the hard lowers permanently and if I want to have access to both glove compartments in there, I can't run the snorkel on the street glide. It just, the door doesn't open. So we'll see. I might not even keep the hard lowers on there because again, that just screams geezer glide to me. I'm not even 40 and I'm kind of getting to the point where I think the the function might outweigh the form, but I'm gonna give it a whirl. Uh, you know, I'll give it the old college try. We'll see what I think, but I'm not gonna put those on tonight. I'm actually gonna save that for tomorrow. So come the next section of video you guys are gonna see, you know, sun will be up, you know, and it'll be a little bit more light and we'll get that done. You know, we'll slap those on there. I, I've seen street glides with hard lowers and I've seen them without. I, I think I like the look without, I like the function with, but who knows, maybe the, having them on there without the door pack, maybe it won't feel so geezerish. you know? We'll see, but uh, tomorrow's a new day. After I get done with uh, the job that pays the bills, we'll come back, get changed, and slap those lowers on there, maybe for the last time. So, I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, brand new day. Now we're gonna go ahead and get the hard lowers put on and what I've got here in case we haven't gone over them before are just Amazon special I think they're a TCMT brand hard lower they're about a hundred bucks so but I did spring let's see if I can get this open for the Harley liners just to kind of give it that you know finished touch so I did that a little while back but uh, some of the tools that we're gonna be needing is going to be a, a half inch socket and these, this is just for mine you know what i need for this a half inch socket a 10 mil socket five mil allen and i've got my sockets here we got a, a little cross bracket here that goes right here this is where the top of the crash bar goes through in case you didn't know so and then we've got this little bracket here. Now it came with a bracket, but it was garbage. It was thin. It was you know, uh, just not, not good. The holes weren't anywhere close to lining up. And this bracket goes on the bottom of the crash bar to, to secure the bottom of the bag. So we got this little bolt that goes through, connects it with Allen on one side and nut on the other. And then we've got another bolt here that I'll have to peel back the liner, see if I can get the light to cooperate. I'll have to peel back the liner to access the hole and to feed that through so I can catch that bracket on the back side of the, the decorative cap. So, I always kind of pre-stage this just so that way it's on there and I don't have to worry about it. We're gonna try to open this up just a little bit. Get that on there. So now it's it's already there and I can close it up and, and that's pretty much just where it's gonna live. So the nice thing about these is you put them on and just kind of eyeball, it's really only gonna fit perfectly in one orientation in that you're not too far outboard, not too far inboard, not too cattywampus because there is a little channel that the crash bar goes through. The real trick here is gonna see be can I get that lower on without pulling where, wherever it is, um, the highway peg 
off there because I really don't want to because if any of you guys have put them on they're you're constantly fiddling with them until you get them just right and they are finally just right so I'm gonna need two hands for this I'm gonna put the camera down and we'll get that first one on but before I put the decorative cap on um, I'll get back kind of show you how it all looks before the finishing cap goes on and I'm not gonna worry about showing you the other side because it's a wash rinse and repeat kind of deal but it should just take a couple of minutes so we get cracking on it all right as promised we're back so like I said got that bracket in there kind of snugged it down didn't reef on a super tight because again it's just plastic sandwiched in there so you don't want to get all Superman on it and then we've got that little bracket with the bolt coming through through the top it just really hugs that bar good now unfortunately I did have to loosen the highway peg up a little bit just to swing it down to drop this into place and then swung it back and yeah, but in order to fold these up I did have to kick them out further than what my stubby legs like so I may end up getting the the longer reach ones they're like a, a three inch or three and a half inch stretch to come back as again minion legs so I don't know we'll play with it and see um, but oh, overall I mean it, it works out well I mean it folds up nice and tight so I don't have to worry about anything looks good so we're gonna go and get the cap on here it's a little bolt that's gonna come through here through this little hole uh, once I feed it through the, the liner and we'll snug that down too and this one will be done so we get that cap on we'll get the other end and then you will see the final product all right guys they're done got the decorative cap on there everything lines up as it should both sides yeah you still got to give them a wipe down but you know got the vents open get some air coming through so and it matches it doesn't look terrible i just don't know that i'm in love with it yet so you know, I'll, I'll give it probably a full season just to really decide and who knows i mean custom dynamics makes some lights that uh you know go in right around here if, you know maybe maybe light that up i don't know you know, maybe that'll ungeezer it a bit. Maybe I'm being partial or too hard on it, but I know they're gonna function great. I'm, I'm gonna love the function. It's just the look I, I'm not sold on, but again, maybe I'm just being vain, I don't know. But uh, uh, all in all, I mean, minus camera time, didn't crack a beer for this one. Takes all of about 15 minutes tops. So, but like I said, it was like a TCMT brand from Amazon, they were 100 bucks, paint matched. They're not Harley quality, they're not Advan Black quality, they're not Hogwarts, Hogworks quality, but for 100 bucks, if they get scratched, I'm not really gonna worry too much about it. So, I still count that as a win in my book. Um, but, you know, something quick and easy, kind of change up the look a little bit, at least now with the new air cleaner on there, I have functionality of that pocket, which I haven't had before because I've had the snorkel on there. And I did go for a ride today, rode to and from work. And I, I like how it looks. It looks mean, looks, you know, muscly, I guess. But my shin does hit the underside of this. And I've been, you know, seeing and hearing complaints of that's a thing. And I didn't experience that on the street glide, which is interesting because I am more squished on the street glide. I'm more stretched out on the soft tail. I thought, if anything, I'd have more clearance on the Fat Boy than the Street Glide, but, you know, something else I was wrong about. Shocking. But uh, that's all I've got. Just a quickie video. You know, I'll figure out what the next one's going to be. But, uh, you know, you guys let me know what you think. Did I just geezer a Street Glide? You know, have I gone into that geezer glide realm? You know, let me know down below. I'm... I'm a little interested to see maybe I'm if I'm being hard on myself or if this really is, you know, all is cracked up to be. But uh, otherwise, thanks for hanging out. Uh, if you would, just, you know, throw a thumbs up that way. Uh, hit the subscribe button. Like, uh, you know, questions, comments, concerns, as usual, down below. 
and we'll catch you all next time. Later. <laughs>